Hi everybody. Um, I've got some goodies to show you because people are lovely. Crafty people are lovely. Some other people are lovely but mainly crafty people. So I got uh, a message from Amy, uh, Amy Gibson, hi Amy, um, from Amy's Woolly World of Creations, Creation, um, to say would I like some wool? Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and <laughs> even though I saw a picture on Instagram, I wasn't quite prepared for how big the box was. So, thank you, Amy. <laughs> Bless you. So, let's find out what's in there. I tried to like dig in. Um, this one feels gorgeous. Um, <laughs> put a tag on it for me. Um, Jim C. Brett Baby Marble DK. BM5. I just can't quite see. No, I might light it up, pick it up. It's a horrendous, horrible day. It's, it's got some blues and browns in there. So I might be whipping up a little lovey blanket or something or other with that. And got some like lime. Oh, it's not as pale as that, but I've had to put the lights on so it's not going to come out right. Some lime green. Um, I think this is mostly oil acrylic, but it's, to be honest, that's what I use anyway. So, uh, and another, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's be the same. And then we've got a. I don't know how this will come out. It's not quite that orange. It's deeper, like a sort of rusty colour. It's really pretty. Uh, what else have we got? Some uh, black. She always comes in handy, knitting bits and bobs for eyes and stuff for. Well, if I ever manage French knots properly, a little dark green, it's not quite as bluey green as that's showing. But I have found when I've watched videos back, they look closer to the actual colour than they'd show me on my screen. Uh, a little like, lilac. What else have we got? Purple, really, no, that looks blue to me. It's a really nice, like, deep purple. That's beautiful. Then what else have we got? Orange. Now this is you know, it's darker than it's shown up to me, and it looks and feels very much like um, the new fashion DK, the orange I used in Jack's blanket, which I really liked and only bought one ball of and used it pretty much all in Jack's blanket. So, can you hear me? <laughs> it's like you knew. Um, and then we've got a like a light. Oh, uh, that's quite a pretty pale pink. It's not as pale as that, but it's getting washed out. And oh, more green. And oh, orange. This will probably kill the camera. This is like bright orange. I think I've got some like that already because I made um, when I first started crocheting. I made a little pumpkin because I thought, oh yeah, I'll make like seasonal hanging things for my car. And I made pretty much just a pumpkin. I think I managed to. Oh no, I changed to a sack boy after that. I thought I'll have this for Christmas and that for Halloween and. If you know you try and like crochet and knit in seasons, I'm always a season behind, so I need to do Christmas stuff now so I'm ready and like Halloween stuff now. Cause people are going Easter, I'm like, ah, I'm finished Christmas. <laughs> um, chocolate brown, it's beautiful. I need some more of that. Is that good? Thank you. Um, this grey, is it? It's like, yeah, grey. Don't know what this is. Feels nice though. I feel like feels sort of thinner than any acrylic I've had. Local uh, acrylic to me, so love how the cakes come out like that. Lovely. Tighter than mine. I think mine are a bit sloppy. Usually because I'm being harassed by kids because they want to do it. And then one, two uh, ball band or uh, ones. And I've never heard of that pattern. And. These are just shade numbers rather than... Oh, denim. Have you written these on, Amy? You're <laughs> lovely. Um, so, yep, denim. And what have we got? Like a lemony yellow. It's not... It's quite warm, though. Like a warm yellow rather than just pale yellow. And what have we got? A greeny one. It's a nice green. I can't believe how much you sent, Amy. I ate my own back, don't worry. There's like a, like a caramel kind of colour. And 
this again um, reminds me slightly of the new fashion DK um, like a minty uh, colour just lovely I've got yarn craft DK in a brown and that's a nice warm brown and this, I've never heard of this stuff, I, I imagine. don't know. Uh, Wendy Peter Pan Velvet Touch. don't know if that'll come out backwards or if you can even read it. But it is, what is it? Soft. Oh, I can't see what it is. I don't know what it's made up of, but... Oh yeah, hang on, sorry. 100% nylon polyamid. It feels amazing and 50 grams. No idea what we're doing with that, but oh, it's so lovely. It's so soft. Then we've got some mariner. I've no, I, I always look at mariner and think I should order some. But then I get in trouble. So mariner uh, mermaid, double knit, and blue random. And then we've got, whoops, same again in pink random. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. My niece will be all over that. And there's the blue one. I love this one. Uh, Mariner Mermaid again. Carnival random. Ah, oh, what was that? The boys would be like, I need another hat. I got stopped by one of the mums at school. I love their hats. Do you make them? It's like, yes, I'm making new one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I do. I didn't know what to say after that. I was a bit like, and then, so much, oh, um, three, uh, 50 gram, I mentioned 50 gram, oh, 42.5 grams of Bernat Handicrafter cotton in, in motion. That's lovely, thank you. I want to try doing like, um, face cloths or I want to do something with cotton and I, I'd never got any. Well, I ordered, tell a lie. I ordered some cream off the Facebook wall woman and I just never did anything with it because um, I got distracted with other stuff but so I have a bit of that but it's just plain so it's nice and pretty so thank you very much where's I've buried she put some crochet stuff in for me the um, Bernat Chill Chasers that's poncho and then there's what's there four designs in there Lacey Lavender Poncho, Ladder, Lacey Lavender, Ladder Lace, Open Work Cardigan and Tweed Turtleneck Sweater. Work. You know it's all written down, you're like, oh, this is for proper pattern followy people. If Mikey does a video, I can do it. <laughs> I don't know why clothes scare me so much, like crocheting them. I, I don't know, I'm rubbish. Or I, I feel like I'll be rubbish in it. I feel like it takes so much yarn I get scared of doing it. But that's pretty. Top one there. Very nice. This is the Natural Blends Natural Selection Knit and Crochet. Learn to knit and crochet instructions included. That's nice. So thank you Amy for the huge box of stuff. That's really, really kind of you. Um, can't believe how much there is. <laughs> I have told Paul. I'm like, this is all coming. But it's a gift. Don't get angry at me. <laughs> um, so thank you, Amy, uh, very much. I'll be sure to show you anything I make with it. I don't, I don't know where to start, but it will get used. And I'm very appreciative. So thank you again. Um, I'm going to have something else that arrived today. If I can find it amongst the... Um, excuse me. My eyes came, uh, that I ordered, I did tell you I ordered, didn't I? Um, so I got two 50 packs, so I got 50 pairs really, I've just uh, black 12 mil. Not focus? No, I didn't want it. Anyway, yeah, 12 mil animal, uh, solid black eyes, and they come with packs of metal washers. Um, 12 mil seems to be the populous, the most popular size I use. It, it goes in the turtles and 
Look at the Angry Birds. So yeah, I've made uh, an Angry Bird pig. I haven't got to show because I took it to the woman this morning. Um, which is good because the little boy's not feeling very well. So she says that will cheer him up. Getting an Angry Birds pig to throw around the house. Um, so yeah, I'll try and insert a picture. But if not, I've made two of them before. So I'm sure you've seen it anyway. Um, so yeah, I found. I thought I only had one 12 mil I left. But I actually found another one. So... I was able to finish the, the pig off uh, without having to wait, so it was good. Um, what else? Oh, I've still not finished. I have his arm, I have one arm done. I've got the other arm up to his hand, and I'm just about to do the fingers. I always forget how much the arms are a pain. They're not really, but I, just, ugh, I don't know. It seems to take ages. Uh, and then I've got to do his eyes and his teeth, and then he'll be done on his hair. Oh, and his buttons. God, you see? This, do you think he's dead? You know, I personally so always think, oh yeah, work up dead quick, and then you forget, oh, it's this and this and this, you've got to. So that'll get done at some point. I'm going to start a Baymax soon. For, um, I think one of the mums at school would like one, and I know the boys want one. Um, and then I don't know where I'm going from there. Well, I do, I've got to make something for a certain somebody, but um, yeah, that'd be a secret. Um, so I think that's it. Um, oh yes, Red Heart sent me my ball of soft white. Um, I didn't get any sort of tracking info or anything, so it was a bit uh, blind. I didn't know what was happening, but it uh, did it arrive. I can't remember what day last week, but it was just on my desk at work when I got there. So thank you to Red Heart. It was, I can't, you know, I can't praise them enough. They, you know, as soon as I sent them the email, um, they came back and said. Yeah, really sorry, we'll get another one sent out to you straight away. They did. So, you can't ask for any more, can you? We could have put some freebies in, but, you know. It's just me being cheeky. <laughs> I haven't yeah, I haven't got enough wool. That, that's my problem. They should have sent me more, because I haven't got enough. <laughs> it's so bad out there. <gasps> I'll take you on a tour of the shed. But the, it's full of everyone else's junk as well. But there's, there's lots of wool. It won't, I won't get in trouble until we move, until Paul sees it all, and then I imagine I will be in. I'm not in a bit of trouble, but anyway. Never mind. One of my orders of wall is like one of his computer games, and mine lasts me longer. See, I've got all my excuses lined up. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, thank you again, Amy. You're wonderful, and you're far too kind. But I'll um, so yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice Monday. I need to get this posted now since Monday, don't I? So yeah, I hope you're having a nice start to your week. I hope you had nice weekends. We went to see our friends. Um, me and the boys went to like a little soft play area and um, played with a friend of... Well, it's a friend that I used to work with her and she her little boy's a couple of weeks older than Tobin and she had a little... I want to she had a baby, well, it was four and a half months, uh, and he was a bit portly, just after Christmas. Uh, I was in hospital for a while, so I hadn't had got a chance to see her um, until this weekend. It just came about that we were both free, so we went and that, and had a, the boys had a play, and we had some dinner, and I got to squidge baby, so that was very nice. Now I want one, I need another baby, because it made Jack seem really big. I'm like, oh, Jack's too grown up now. But he was brilliant with the baby. I'm like, tell daddy you need a baby brother. <laughs> we need more babies. I've got all this baby war. <laughs> I, need, I need a baby for it. But yes, so we had a lovely weekend. And he's got a, Tim's got a party this weekend. So that goes my Mother's Day line. Hey, we're down the blooming play area again. But never mind. Um, yeah, I've rambled for long enough. I hope you're all well. Um, Amy, I hope you're feeling better. And yeah, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.